Okay, so we went over a lot of the basic elements and now I want to show you how to add your own shapes in case these shapes don't work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my current shapes and let's say I have this, car, this background and I just want to add some photos to it. I could also turn off this one if I didn't want the stripe. So basically what you can do is, first of all, you can just drag a photo in. I'm just dragging this photo in from, this is my photo and I just dragged it in. And then you can resize it. Um, it came in small because it's low resolution photo and my card is high resolution. So hopefully yours will come in bigger. So you could do this, just like this, and you could grab the effects from our other from our other box and you can just drag them on top of that and then you have a stroke for this and you can resize it smaller and just center it so that's one way you can do it or I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off let's say you have a certain design that you want to do with certain size you can just start making shapes here any size you want and you can just sometimes it helps if they're gray because then you can see I like to do web and then change it change my shapes if you start out with the colors then you don't have to um, already gray that then you don't have to change them so let's say I have gray and I want some shapes. I just come in and then you can line them up however you want. And if you have your smart guides on, it's going to tell you when they're lined up with the pink little lines that you get to tells you when things are lined up, like that's lined up. And the, to turn the smart guides on, you come to view, show, and then smart guides. Make sure that's check marked. And that's how you turn that on and then you can just make these shapes however you want and you can make them larger and then you can add another guide if you want to make sure everything is lined up by just dragging it out of the ruler and you can make these any size you want so however many photos you have you can just make your own boxes and then you can use any type of stroke around it that you want. You can drag this one and then you do Alt and drag it down to copy it. And Then you have a stroke around everything. Then you can just pull in your photo, um, size it, make sure it's above the box that you want it to be sized to, which would be right here. Right click it and then click create clipping mask and then you've created your own box. So you can do a lot of different fun things with this with this design and just use the background. Oh, that's the wrong one. Right here. Create clipping mask. And let's grab one more photo. I press my shift key to make sure I keep my aspect ratio. I'm going to drag this to above my box and right click create clipping mask. And I showed you in the last video how to change the colors and change the text. So you are good to go with this. Now one more thing I want to go over is just basically the other cards and things that might get a little bit confusing that are different on every card. So I'm going to go ahead and come to some of the different cards, view, fit on screen. This one, if you want to change the color of this shape, you just double click it, color overlay, and just choose a color. You could maybe, you know, go with some blue colors. And any, any shape that you want to change the color of like that, that's just a design element, 
you just do a color overlay and you can do the same thing with these snowflakes and this one is a shape so you just double click the green and you just change the color and then this little red line is a stroke so you just double click the shape or you open this effect right here I'll just double click it press enter Photoshop seems to like it doesn't want to let you click anything just press enter because it may have got hung up thinking you changed something so then you just click stroke whenever you see a line like this it's probably a stroke and you can just change that to any color and so that's how you make the changes to all these and I'm just gonna close that one out close this one out and it's the same with this these are shapes these are designs that you just double click and then you click color overlay to change the color pick a color and you're good to go with all with every single one of these shapes you can just change the color with a color overlay you can add box extra boxes in here to change the design this one has a stroke and I've added a hue saturation that doesn't affect the stroke so if you change the color then you have to go in and separately change the stroke to a, to a color that matches better like it's this color right now so maybe I'd make it like a color of blue that matched you just have to play around with it I'm doing this quickly and this one is the same thing you basically have you could turn this off or you can turn on the hue, change the hue saturation to change the color to anything you want and then you change the stroke on this so that basically shows you how to customize the volume 5 Christmas card so I hope you enjoy the templates and I'd love to see your designs so always give feedback and enjoy the templates